Hi, this is Angela Taylor with Taylor Homestead Soap, and today's soap is a wine soap. I'm preparing for an August the 11th um, wine tasting party um, up north in the Cabarrus County Arena. Um, and so I have tried a red burgundy soap. And I, I've, I've made two small loaves with this. The first one was a cold process soap. And I didn't film all that. I do show you the final result of that one. But I did the oils with this particular soap at room temperature. And within three minutes, they saponified. Like I had soap on a stick. <laughs> <laughs> and so it didn't come out the way that I wanted. So my daughter was like, mommy, why don't you try a melt and pour soap using this scent and make it fancy that way and it won't accelerate. So that's what we're doing. Um, so this video is a cold process soap with this fragrance oil and a melt and pour base. So you can see the difference in between the two. Um, it is interesting, it is different. Um, without further ado, here is the Burgundy Rose Wine Soap. So I didn't take the making of this soap, but I wanted to show you um, what I did do with it. This is the Burgundy Rose, Nature's Garden Burgundy Rose. This stuff is wicked when it comes to turning into soap quickly. Absolutely wicked. I had room temperature lye, room temperature oils, and I was trying to do a drop swirl into that. Well, you see that didn't happen. Um, and the bottom, of, it, was, it was a mess. So, I mean, it, it turned out okay, but I'm not going to... This next loaf I'm going to do is not going to be a cold process loaf. I'm going to do a melt and pour. This one's going to be a melt and pour base using this and these pieces. Now, I did an earlier video using these. These pieces are bindi soap. For the most part, I say that. Using vegetable glycerin. So we're going to try it with that and see what happens. Okay, so I've me measured the bendy red soap, and that's about um, half a pound here. And this is a three pound mold that I'm gonna put it in. So I need about two and a half more pounds of soap. So what I'm gonna do, um, I've got it going right over there. Inside that one is the other oils I'm gonna use for a different soap that I'm making today. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure it out to see how much I have. Right now, inside this, so I started to melt it down, but you know, I thought, duh, why don't you measure it out and see how much you actually have, Taylor? <gasps> that would be a smart thinking girl. All right, so that's uh, 13 ounces there. I'll bring it back in just a second. All right, got my soap there. I'm going to be using today Gold Sparkle Mica as my base and my melt and pour. My daughter and I were like, we're gonna try this in some melt and pour and see what it does in that. Um, it was wicked fast. I mean, like two or three minutes and it was totally, totally saponified. It was soap on a stick. So be careful with this one. So I'm gonna mix this into my melt and pour soap over my hot plate here and I'm going to add some of this fragrance oil into it. Ooh, look at that. That looks cool. And I'm going to keep on stirring until it's all broken up in there. Okay, so what I've done, I've poured some of this into my mold. This is rubbing alcohol, and I'm gonna put this rubbing alcohol and pop all of these bubbles that are on the top there. You never want to have um, bubbles on the top of your soap. It just doesn't make it look as pretty. I'm gonna take these pieces here, and I'm just gonna lay them in kind of psychogly manners in this soap. Try to set some up. I'm going to try to lay some down. Cross some over. I 
It smells good. It really does smell good. Do some bread and gold soap. Because that's what I think of when I think of burgundy rose soap. I think of red and I think of gold. And again, this um, will probably not be uh, um, put into my Etsy shop until after August 11th. This particular soap is being made for my August 11th. Um, uh, my August 11th endeavors at the wine festival up in Concord. So this particular soap will not be available in my Etsy shop until after August 11th. Okay, here is this Burgundy Rose Mountain Pour soap. Just it's gold Mountain Pour, Burgundy Rose fragrance oil, and just red bendy pieces that you see there. So we'll come back in a couple hours and we will cut this soap. All right, we are at the cutting of this soap. So this is all Mountain Pour. I've already cut one, but I wanted to show you. This is really cool looking inside, y'all. So. I'm going to cut here. Let's see, I'll make sure I get a straight cut. Uh oh, I'm moving my camera. Look how cool that looks. And you can see all the glistening. That's cool looking. Look how cool, y'all. Very cool. All right. And the cool thing about the soap is that every piece is a little bit different. It's just neat. Look at this. Ooh, look at that one. Cool. All right, my friends, if you like what you see, Please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment below. Look how cool, y'all. You see, these were more on the bottom. <laughs> and it smells like wine. Look how cool. Oops knocking the camera. Ooh, that's cool. Ooh. Very nice. All right. Subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, y'all. Bye.